Well, back to our breaking news this morning. It's official. The federal government has shut down after Democrats and Republicans failed to agree on a last minute deal. About 800,000 people or so will not be going to work today. More than 300 of our nation's parks will not welcome tourists. Shannon Travis has more. After a flurry of activity and back and forth votes, the House and Senate reached a stalemate and the clock struck midnight. All time for debate has expired. What felt inevitable all day is now a reality. For the first time since 1995, the federal government is shut down. Really a very sad point uh, in the history of uh, this Congress. The Republican-controlled House passed budgets that included defunding or delaying Obamacare, which is set to begin Tuesday. The Democratic-controlled Senate struck down each proposal, refusing to tie the budget to the new health care law. The idea of putting the American people's hard-earned progress at risk is the height of irresponsibility, and it doesn't have to happen. I didn't come here to shut down the government. I came here to fight for a smaller, less costly, and more accountable federal government. So now what? You might have a tougher time renewing your passport. That trip you plan to a national park or museum may not happen. And if you're a veteran, some services may be disrupted. What won't be impacted? Social Security checks will still arrive on time. So will your mail. The Postal Service will remain open. And most law enforcement agencies like the FBI and DEA will keep operating. So it's no surprise Americans appear to be fed up with Congress with an approval rating of 10 percent, a new all-time low. The question now is, which side blinks first? In Washington, I'm Shannon Travis. And we have team coverage this morning on what the shutdown means for you. Our Jonah Kaplan joins us now with a look at those issues. Hi, Jonah. Uh, good morning, guys. A pleasant good morning, everyone. Yeah, the real issue is whether this drags on even longer because one day, the immediate effects are limited to things like national parks and projects you just heard. Long term, you're talking FDA inspections, potentially veterans benefits, and of course, the application for a new passport. Soldiers and airmen here at the 128th National Guard Post will find out today if they'll go home or get an IOU. There are more than a thousand within the Wisconsin National Guard who will be laid off or not paid until the government is running again. And many of these soldiers tell us they're worried about the impact it could have on their children and spouses. I, I, all of us are uh, certainly concerned in, in the way that uh, we want to make sure that uh, the job gets done. We've got a lot of great resources on our website, tmj4.com. I know we've seen all sorts of stuff on NBC News. So there's really just a lot out there. So at least we're all up and running. And we're going to make sure everyone else is going to be ready for the day to find out kind of what's coming up with this. Sounds good, Jonah. Thank you yeah. very much. On more local news now, charges could come today for a person accused of setting an apartment building on 